And a reminder tonight, stay-at-home orders go into effect for Orange and Osceola counties. This means you can only leave for essentials like groceries and medicine. The Florida Department of Health just released their latest numbers on the cases statewide. Here's where we stand. Right now, more than 2,000 people have tested positive for coronavirus, but out of over 23,000 tests, they've seen 20,000 tests negative. Locally, Orange County has the most positive cases at more than 100. Meantime, testing sites for the coronavirus are back up and running today, which means the number of tests being done keeps growing. Yesterday, testing in the parking lot of the Orange County Convention Center opened up and hundreds drove to the location. News 6's Crystal Moyer was there this morning. To expedite the screening process for COVID-19, an additional lane was added here at the testing site at the Orange County Convention Center. A spokesperson for the site tells me this should relieve some of the long wait times. Opening that second lane is going to give us a better flow through this area, and that's where we noticed the bulk of the waiting was happening. So once they across this destination and into the parking garage, that wait time was fairly short. Officials at the state run site say they are following a strict federal mandate to only test those who are over 65 with respiratory symptoms and a temperature of 99.6 or higher. Testing is also open to medical staff and first responders. We asked when people can expect to get results from their COVID-19 tests. We don't have an answer on that just yet. They will be contacted individually by somebody from Florida Department of Health. This site is run by over 260 guardsmen and over 40 nurses. We are told they have enough personal protective equipment for the staff here. The initial screening process takes place at the tents here and combat medics perform the swab test in the parking garage across the street. They do have some advice to help decrease the wait time for testing. Also make sure if there's multiple people being tested in the vehicle, try to sit on the same side of the vehicle. That will really help once you get to the testing area where they're doing the swabs. The site is limited to 250 tests per day. Officials here also want me to remind those who show up for testing to stay in their cars. They are not allowing anyone to use the bathrooms on site, so come prepared and bring your patients. In Orlando, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.